because if the eyes are just pure white it's not going to look realistic so that's why i'm adding a photo filter to make the eyes look more realistic so once i'm done with that i'll just hide my properties layer hi youtube today here welcome back to another amazing tutorial and in this video i'm going to be showing you the easiest way and the best way to whiten your eyes and teeth in photoshop so let's get started the first thing you're going to do you're going to create a vibrant adjustment layer so i'll just come to my adjustment layer or rather i'll come down here i click on vibrance so this is my vibrance i'll click on my vibrance adjustment layer so once i click on my vibrance adjustment layer just reduce the saturation of the vibrance to about minus 66 and leave it like this the next thing you should do come to your curves adjustment layer right here or come down here click on your curves adjustment layer i just click on this middle and just drag it up like this until i'm okay with the brightness so i want my brightness to be like this i'll just leave it like this and i'll hide my properties the next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my photo filter so this is my photo filter right here or i'll come down here to my adjustment again and i'll look for photo filter on my adjustment layer and this is my photo filter so i'll just click on it and i'll use a cooling filter i'll come to my filter i'll click on it and i'll look for cooling so i'll just use cooling 80 for this one like this and i'll reduce my density to seven or eight so the reason why i'm adding photo filter is because the eyes are not just egg white you can either use a cooling filter or you can use a warm filter but i prefer using a cooling filter because if the eyes are just pure white it's not going to look realistic so that's why i'm adding a photo filter to make the eyes look more realistic so once i'm done with that i'll just hide my properties layer the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to group everything i just did my photo filter my colors and my vibrance so i'll group them and to group them i'll just hold control and click on it one after the other or i'll click on my photo filter first hold my shift and click on vibrance and it's going to select everything so i just click on ctrl g to group so once i group them i'm going to add a layer mask so i just come down here i'll click on my layer mask and it's going to add a layer mask the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to invert the layer mask to hide this effect from the whole image because as it is right now it's affecting the whole image but i don't want it to affect the, the whole image i want it to affect just the teeth and the eyes so i'm just going to invert my mask to hide it and to invert your mask all you have to do is click on ctrl i to invert or command i to if you're using the mark so once i invert it i'll pick my normal brush tool make sure i'm using a soft hand brush make sure my hardness is on zero and also i'll make sure my foreground color is on white because if it's on black i'm not going to see the effect even if i brush the reason is that my mask is on black so i'm going to be using my white brush to reveal those effects if my mask is on white i'm just going to be using my black brush and to switch your brush between white and black just click on this icon right here to switch between white and black and let's say you have another color right here just click on this black and white icon right here to switch it to default which is black and white so once on my black and white make sure my um layer mask is selected i'll just brush on the teeth and the eyes like this And i'll do the same for the eyes right here so i'll be doing an example with this image when i want to paint on the eyes so let's focus on the teeth first so you can see how white the teeth is and next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my filter i'll come to my blur and i'll come to my gaussian blur so i'm just going to blur this with about one radius of one or 1.5 so i'm just going to click ok so after i blur it you can see this teeth is too white so i'm just going to reduce the opacity to make it look more natural because I like the natural feel so let's see our uh, before and after so these are before these are before and these are after if you feel it's not enough you can see add to the opacity like this and you can see some place which i forgot to brush you can just come back to your brush tool and just paint over those areas like this so let's see our uh, before and uh, after the image is looking good like this so for the eyes you can repeat those steps which i did for this first one or you can just copy this there by clicking on ctrl c copy it paste it on this one right here and just delete the mask by clicking and dragging it to this delete icon right here so delete so once you delete it it's going to show like this so create another layer mask so once you create another layer mask 
you can invert this by clicking on Ctrl A and pick your normal brush tool and just paint on the eyes like this and increase the opacity so you can see the effect. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.